Hey everybody, it's Tim. It's another rainy Sunday morning. So I've got a couple extra minutes on my hands. Thought I'd do a comparison between the Kongsheng Amazing 20 Deluxe and the Honer Special 20 E. Um, the Special 20 is sort of everybody's favorite workhorse. Uh, it gets recommended a lot to beginners. It gets recommended to cure all sorts of ills. You know, you can't bend a harp by a special 20. Can't uh, get that Chicago tone that you're looking for, get a special 20. Your dogs run away and your girlfriend mistreats you, get a special 20. I like them fairly well. They're pretty easy to play. Um, they cost about $40, which is a little expensive for me, especially given that, from my uh, perspective, they're built in kind of a cheesy way. You know, the corners are, are square and sharp. Uh, it just has kind of a chintzy feel to it. It doesn't feel like a harmonica that uh, costs $40, in my opinion. It feels like a less expensive harmonica. That said, they're generally in tune. Uh, they're airtight, and again, responsive harmonicas. Um, they're not particularly durable, in my experience. I go through one of these about every three months or so, if I'm, if I'm gigging with them. They sound pretty good, right? <laughs> Sounds like a harmonica, right? Well, based on the name anyway, obviously the Kong Chengs were trying to jump on the everybody should have a special 20 bandwagon and called their harmonica a, an amazing 20 plus the deluxe. And these are $15. So the first thing I noticed about these is that they at least went through the trouble of rounding the corners. Now the construction is about as cheesy as the Special 20, or, to put it another way, it's every bit as good as the Special 20. Um, it sounds about the same. But, you know, it's really hard to tell the difference. The one difference that I do notice is that the since the holes are smaller on the Kong Sheng, it requires you to be a little bit more precise with your technique. You know, you can't just play, you know, you can't put it in your mouth and play without thinking about it. So, you know, when I'm gigging, I don't really want to have to think about things all that much. Now, it's not a big deal. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but for me... You know, these small holes sort of trip me up just a little bit. I'm pretty sure I could get used to them. The, the Kongsheng Mars is the same way, except the holes are round. There's a lot of space in between the holes that I found myself either blowing or sucking on, and it doesn't make any noise because there's no holes. Right? Um, so if you're a lazy harmonica player, uh, the, the small holes might trip you up just a little bit. So, in terms of durability, I don't know. I haven't had these long enough to be able to tell. I don't really gig with them all that often. But in a one-to-one -one comparison, yeah, it's pretty, pretty close, really, between these two harmonicas. Um, the main difference is about you know, $25 to $30 in cost. That said, so I got three of these. I got 
this one, which is in A. I got this one, which is in F. Sounds like an F harp. The keys are in the back, too. It's kind of a weird place for This is the special 20 in F. F was fine. Compares favorably to the special 20. I also got a C. This one I didn't like so much. It's leaky down in the lower reeds. I tried to gap them, but there's still some air whistling through there, so probably what I'd have to do is I'd have to take it all apart, flat sand the, the, uh, the reed plates and stuff like that. Full disclosure, I have no idea how to do that. And for a $15 harp, I don't really want to be bothered to, but this one is a little clunky. It's, it's a little harder to play. I can do it. But it's not as airtight as, for example, its uh, analogous Special 20, which I don't have here because I blew out a reed at the last gig, and I'm, I don't have a Special 20 in C. Anyway. So you can't actually hear that this is giving me trouble. But it's not as effortless as, as the analogous Special 20 in C. Which leads me to believe that I've got a 2 out of 3 QAQC uh, hit rate on these uh, amazing 20s. Pardon my voice. I'm <clears throat> uh, sort of recovering from last night. And that means that... You know, for a $15 harmonica, it sounds to me, on the basis of my sample size, which is this many, that you've got a 66% success rate, which I think is acceptable for a $15 harmonica. It would piss me off if the Special 20s had that sort of a hit rate, because if I'm paying $40 to $50 for a harmonica, I want each and every one of them to be perfect. So... I can understand people that will buy these and go, well, you know, one out of three suck. Yeah. But then you buy another one for $15, and, you know, probably that one won't suck. The thing I do like about these is that they're recessed reed harmonicas. Uh, they sound uh, really pretty good. They're uh, generally easy to play, and they're inexpensive. So again, if you're out there looking for a cheap harmonica that's a recessed reed model that doesn't cut up your lips on the reed plates, uh, take a look. Go ahead and buy one and let me know what you think. I don't think that they're going to replace my East Hops anytime real soon, but you know, if you're looking for an inexpensive alternative to your Special 20s, maybe you, uh, you give it a try. Alright, let me just play one of these for a little bit.